The question I have for you today is at the end of your life, what do you want to be remembered for? Who do you want to have delivered for? When you look in the mirror, okay, what will make you the most proud? And I'll give you a hint. It's not going to be your houses. It's not going to be your cars. It's not going to be all your properties. Nothing wrong with that. Cool stuff. You ought to try to get some of it, okay? But if your purpose is those things, I'm just going to challenge you. It's probably not going to be that fulfilling. Purpose is always found on the opposite side of you and I. Okay, you know, the opposite side of the line. Whoever devotes themselves to themselves will have nothing but themselves to show for themselves. How's that? Okay, I didn't come up with that, but I thought that was pretty good. Okay, whoever devotes themselves to themselves will have nothing but themselves to show for themselves. The people you admire the most are not the people that you know, on social media, losing weight, or or somebody that got out of debt, or, or or somebody that runs really fast or jumps really high. Nothing wrong with those folks. Okay, that's awesome. They're aspiring to something, okay? But the people we admire the most are those that impacted others, those that impacted the world, people that, that made somebody's world better. There's a, just a God-given desire in every one of us to know that what we're doing makes a difference. Short-term, we can get focused on winning. We can focus on all that. But at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, and you're reflecting, I promise you, it'll be the places you made a difference that will make you feel the best about yourself. We all want to be significant, okay? But to have significance to accomplish those dreams, it's going to take a fight. Whatever your goals, it's going to take a fight. Life is a fight, okay? You, you can choose to play offense or defense, but it's going to be a fight. Uh, defense, you know, you're taking all the crap that gets dumped on you. You're like the, the human punching bag, okay? Paying the bills, doing the have-tos, you know, every morning waking up with your laundry list of stuff you got to do. Otherwise, something's going to get punched at you, okay? Offense is charting a course, fighting through the thickets to get to your goals. In the movie Rocky Balboa, Sylvester Stallone put it this way. The world isn't all sunshines and rainbows. It's very mean and nasty. And I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and it will keep you there permanently if you let it. Some of you are playing defense, okay, and you've let life beat you to your knees, okay, and it'll keep you there permanently if you let it, okay? Continuing, nobody's going to hit you as hard as life will. It isn't about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much can you take and keep moving forward? That is how winning is done. That's why you put everything into it. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. 